overall goal of this procedure is to determine the relative preference of adult Drosophila for one chemical tastent over another. This method can help answer key questions in the Drosophila taste field, such as which genes are necessary for selecting between sweet compounds or potentially toxic bitter compounds. The main advantage of this technique is that it is straightforward and does not require any specialized instrumentation. Demonstrating the procedure will be Andrew Bantel, a technician from my laboratory. To begin the experiment, saturate a cotton ball with water at the bottom of a standard fly vial. Next, collect flies in sets of 100 animals on a CO2 pad and then add the flies to a prepared vial. Use a cotton ball to secure the vials closed. Then, place the vials on their side in an environmentally controlled incubator. Prepare the control tastent of 1 millimolar sucrose by combining 10 microliters of 100 millimolar sucrose solution, 13 microliters of red food coloring, and 977 microliters of water. Next, prepare the experimental tastent of 5 millimolar sucrose. Then, create the assay chambers by obtaining a 100 millimeter by 15 millimeter plastic petri dish and placing three 10 microliter drops of control tastent as close to the edge of the plate as possible at the 12 o'clock position. At the 3 o'clock position, Place three 10 microliter drops of...